and welcome back to my channel. On this episode of Christian Cringe, we have to talk about Josh Dunn and the entire Duggar family and how we found ourselves in this situation and how their um, mentality, how their culture, how their religion plays a major role and how this actually came to be and how they protect predators over victims every time. Okay, for those of you who don't know who Josh Duggar is, he's the oldest, chil he's the oldest child of the popular reality TV show 19 Kids and Counting. He married Anna, I think back in like 2008, and they have six, almost eight, or six, almost seven kids. They have the seventh on the way. They have multiple daughters that are in the same age range as what we're going to talk about, which I find very disturbing within itself. But we have to rewind a little bit and go back to 2015 when the show uh, 19 Kids and Counting was originally canceled and why it was canceled and how they should have gotten Josh Duggar help to begin with. Okay, so in 2015, it was revealed that Josh Duggar back in either 2004 or 2003 had assaulted several of his siblings, several of his younger sisters, and a babysitter. He had touched them in inappropriate places and had wound up confessing this to his dad. And how they handled it was absolutely the way that most people in the Quiverful or the IFB or the NIFB or any of the extremely uber-religious sex would have handled it. If you asked me, I would know I grew up in one. Um, not going there, but, um, it was likely that when they, their version of therapy was having him talk to a pastor, dig some ditches and do some hard labor, because if you can just pray it away and, and kind of beat it out of him, he'll just magically stop having that devious behavior. Um, they shaved his head. He wasn't allowed to talk to anyone and this was magically going to fix him. Yeah, so it was extremely remorseful and very sorry, so it happened to their family, so we had no right to judge them, only God can judge him. But enough people were outraged between that and the next scandal that we're going to talk about, which all clues when we're not going to go down. Um, but he did not receive care, and while at the same time that they said that he was in therapy, they said that the daughters were getting therapy, and I guarantee you therapy went something like this. What were you wearing that tempted your brother? Did you do something to tempt your brother? Remember that it is your job to keep him in check. It is your job to keep men's lustful thoughts in men's lustful heads because you just the way you walk or just simply existing can turn on it could have done that and caused your brother to do that. I guarantee you there was a ton of victim blaming and any sort of therapy that these girls got, which made them repress even further. And by the time that cops were notified, it was I think almost a year later and of course, Jim Bob took his son to confess to a police officer who then was convicted for possessing CP of his own and is in prison for it right now because birds of a feather flock together. And then um, shortly after that scandal was, was found out, um, we found out that he was on M Ashley Madison and having active affairs, including one with a porn star against his very pregnant wife, Anna. And again, it was all summed up to sinful nature. He was very, very sorry. Yada, 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 me yada, me yada. And uh, he went into a residential treatment center, which again, I'm pretty sure was just praying his deviance away and not really giving him the proper therapy that he needed. And he blamed it on a uh, porn addiction. There's not really a porn addiction kind of thing. Like if you look it up, it's more like you find it in the evangelical side. It's not an actual medical term. And it's a way to shame people and excuse deviant behavior that probably needs more comprehensive therapy. But he got treated for that and all was well in Duggarland. We went years and years and years without hearing anything. He resigned from the research council. He was no longer on the show Counting On. And it was swept under the rug. In 2019, Homeland Security raided the car lot that I believe Josh Duggar and probably Jim Bob owned. And it was found out that um, it was, there was nothing really done about that. Like, we heard that it was raided, but... No one really said anything. I honestly, back then, and then when he was arrested recently, just kind of assumed that it was like money laundering or tax evasion or something like that. And I didn't really give it much thought in that because, I mean, you should have given the history, but it's not with Homeland Security. I didn't connect that. I didn't think Homeland Security would be connected to that. Boy, was I wrong. But, um... He was arrested, 
and the charges were sealed and we couldn't figure out what the charges were sealed, sealed and I'm like this is weird for whatever something, something really fishy is going on we found out a couple of days later that it was for CP and um for those who don't know what CP is it's child and corn child corn and um we found out that that 2019 raid was actually for the CP and that um they had gone to the car lot with their warrant. We, we, we found out through his bail hearing that he had gone to the to the court. Or he had, uh, they had gone, they had gone to court, they had gotten a warrant for his address. And they had gone there. And before he was Mirandized or anything like that, he was questioned about why they thought he was there. They just said, why do you think he's there? And he's like, well, did someone download CP? Now, I don't know about you, and I don't know about anyone else, but... Um, when Homeland Security shows up unmarked, just as Homeland Security, I'm definitely not going to think CP again. I clearly didn't think it when he when they showed up and he was arrested because I wouldn't know that, that Homeland Security handles that kind of thing. <sighs> they confiscate a laptop, an iPhone, and a Dell desktop. The desktop is what we're going to be talking about. They confiscate the desktop and all the stuff. And they take it for forensic audits. They clone the hard drive and then they, they do that. That way it preserves the original hard drive and they can go digging through. Josh Dogger also refused to give the passwords to his computers. He admitted that they were his, but he refused. But the most interesting thing was he had a Linux partition within the Dell desktop. Um, he had a program on the computer that allowed his wife to monitor what he was doing as an accountability buddy. Um, I'm not sure what the program is called. There are so many within the religious community. Trust me, there's like a ton that will monitor your computer. But uh, he had set up the Linux program because that program doesn't pick up on, on a Linux partition. So he had basically had a computer within a computer. So Anna could see what was on just a regular desktop. And the Linux partition is where he was doing what he should not be doing. When they asked him about stuff like this, he was like, he knew how to do it, but he'd rather not say any more than that etc cetera, etc cetera, which is his every right to do but it's extreme it's incredibly incriminating when you when you say hey why do you think we're here I mean, well, are you here for cp but, and then when he wouldn't give them the passwords and stuff and it took him a little while to break into it but then we find out what was actually on that linux partition which is terrifying it had over 200 images of cp of children as young as 18 months. Now remember, his youngest child right now is 17 months. And it had children as young as 12. I think his oldest daughter is 12. So 12 and 17 months, all within his range of, of, of six kids with one on the way. There was a video on there of between eight to 11 year old girls that were performing a certain act that I don't want to get into explicit detail. And there was an older man that there's a two minute video of that. His family knew he had a problem. They knew that he was attracted to underage girls. When he was a teenager, he, his, he, his younger sisters, he touched and did inappropriate things with his younger sisters. He um, was on Ashley Madison, which was adult women, but it still showed a certain amount of deviancy and lack of trust and dishonesty. Anna has stuck by him through this, and I see a lot of people that are like, Anna needs to take her kids and leave, which she 100% does. Um, Anna is just as much to blame, yada, yada, yada. Anna is so brainwashed and so beaten down, she doesn't really know what's right from wrong at this point. Not when it comes to that. Because in her mind, CP is the same as P. CP is the same as corn. A sin is a sin. She is raised that her husband is the head of household and if she wants to continue to be protected by God, she has to stand by her husband no matter what he does and no matter who he does it to. And if he does it to anything, and he steps outside their marriage, it's her fault for not being available enough, for not giving him everything he needs, for not being a perfect wife and mother. Right now, I'm pretty sure she's blaming herself pretty hardcore. Or she's blaming Biden. I've heard rumors that she's blaming Biden, which is a little weird. But again, she's wrapped so far up 
into it. I mean, she wasn't allowed to court until she was 20, and then Josh proposed to her on her 20th birthday. She was a lamb to the slaughter. She was, Jim Bob arranged to get his daughter, or get his son married off as quickly as possible to whoever he could find. He found her parents, and they fell for the glitz and the glam, and they basically arranged the marriage of their daughter. Their daughter has had no say through this entire thing. Um, I'm sure behind the scenes she's getting blamed, and she has no real out. I know that people, that her brother has offered her an out, but again, in in her mindset, if she leaves, she loses her godly and spiritual connection. She loses possibly her kids because I do not think that Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar would allow those kids out of their sight. They are definitely part of like the whole culty thing and they're not going to let those kids. I mean, they're already struggling to keep Jill in line and they can't. They're definitely not going to let Anna step outside of the bubble. Anna needs out, but Anna also needs understanding because while she is a perpetrator, she is also a victim. And why do I say that? Because she's so deeply ingrained that she is putting that, that mindset into her children, which is victimizing her children. Those children need to be examined by a doctor. Those children need to be talked to by a forensic person who can determine if something has happened to them. Anna needs to let that happen, and that is how she is perpetrating because she's putting her kids at risk. But... Again, Anna doesn't know any other way. Anna doesn't know how to be different. Anna does phone was dying. So they're definitely not letting Anna out of their sight, like even remotely out of their sight. In fact, in the 2015 scandal, they moved Anna into the girls' room at the compound. She was a married woman with three or four kids at the time, living with a bunch of other children in the girls' room at the Duggar house. She currently resides on a warehouse on the Duggar compound. They keep her tightly reined, that they keep her close. They don't allow her any freedom and to think for herself. Um, Josh was always designed to be Jim Bob, little miniature Jim Bob, and a politician, and it's not working out the way they want. But there's no way that they're gonna let Anna out of their sight. There's no way that they're gonna let Anna tell her story. There's no way that they're going to let Anna do anything. And again, remember, that it's a patriarchal society. Jim Bob is king. Jim Bob is boss. Even if Josh is whatever. Yeah. And to the point now where, to give you a reference to the people that bailed Josh out of jail and allowed them to stay at their house, the um, woman seemed deeply uncomfortable with the situation. Like, she really didn't want Josh there. But her husband did. So, because her husband ruled for it, even though what Josh did makes her uncomfortable and Josh being, ugh. Um, she's still forced to let this man into her house because her husband, who is the head of the household, has deemed it to be. Um, when she was at the bail hearing, from what I understand, she did not look comfortable. She had a hard time answering the questions because you could clearly tell she did not want Josh in her house. And again, because the, hus the husband is the head of household, the husband had decided that he was pastor, it was his job, and that they would take Josh in. The other disturbing thing is he's not allowed to have any contact with children except for his six kids he has with Anna and under her supervision. But again, men are heads of household. And I don't know if Anna's there enough to protect her kids. He should not have access to any kid, including his six kids and his seventh on the way. Um, his trial date, I believe, is... Uh, July 6th. The evidentiary date is July 1st. Um, we'll come back to this story then, but uh, I just cannot believe 17 months to 12 years old with videos of assaults of two nine-year-old girls on his computer on a Linux partition. This was some premeditated shit right here, and it's disgusting. And I hope they throw the jail on top of him. I hope that those kids are fr forensically interviewed. And I genuinely hope that Anna one day wakes up and realizes that the Duggars never cared about her best interest. It was always about making sure that she covered for Josh. That she covered up for Josh's deviant behavior. Again, she wasn't allowed to court until she was 20. But on her 20th birthday, Josh proposes. And she had no idea Josh was courting her. The reason she had no idea Josh was courting her was because it was an arranged marriage. It was not the first arranged marriage. Jim Bob had tried to set up 
for Josh Duggar. Um, there was rumors that there was an, um, an incident when he was 14 trying to set him up with a politician's daughter who was fairly conservative in Arkansas, and it fell apart when it became word of what he had done to his sisters. It was always about getting Josh married off as quickly as possible to a subservient woman who could be manipulated. And that's how you end up with a man who has a Linux partition and 200 images, including babies as young as 18 months. For anyone who doesn't know, that's a year and a half. Think about that. Um, and again, they just see it as sin. They don't see it as any different from adult porn. And I don't trust any of them to protect the children in that household. <sighs> fundamentalism at its finest. So much abuse within fundamentalism. This is just one of many examples. And I will see you guys later.